Welcome back to another video about filmmaking, photography and the creative work behind. Before we start with the video, I just wanted to say thank you for over 1000 subscriptions already. I know we are still a small channel in the big YouTube world out there, but I'm already really proud of this little achievement and I'm stoked for the future. In this video, I wanted to talk about the lens comparison. Some of you already asked me which lens to buy when you have to choose between the Fujifilm 16 to 55 mm f2.8 and the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. Hopefully after this video you have a better idea of both lenses and makes the choice easier for you which one to buy. So let's start the comparison between the Fujifilm 16 to 55 f2.8 and the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. The build quality of both lenses is pretty good, but the Fujifilm lens has one advantage against the Sigma lens, it's built completely weather sealed. In terms of pricing, you have the Fujifilm lens at around 900 US dollars and the Sigma is around 700 dollars. So at first sight, the Sigma lens seems to be a lot cheaper than the Fujifilm lens, but you have to keep in mind, when you want to use the Sigma lens with your Fujifilm camera system, you have to buy also an adapter which is around 350 bucks. I used the Fringer EF2FX Pro 2, which I already did a test video about, so please check in the description box or in the upper corner right here. With the additional cost for the adapter in mind, the total price for the Sigma lens is around 150 bucks more expensive than the Fujifilm lens. So let's see if the additional cost for the Sigma lens is worth the price. To make clear which lens is better in focusing, we have to separate between manual focus and autofocus. In manual focus, which I prefer for all my video work, the Sigma lens is the clear winner. The focus ring just feels good, it has a perfect amount of resistance when changing focus and it makes it a real pleasure to work with. In opposite to this, the focus ring of the Fujifilm 16 to 55 is way too soft and it's not easy to make focus shifting with only one hand when you're in manual focus mode. But on the other side, when we are talking about autofocus, the Fujifilm 16 to 55 is the clear winner. The autofocus from the Fuji lens is pretty accurate and reliable, and you don't get the weird focusing sounds which you get from the Sigma 18 to 35 in continuous focus mode. On the XC4, the Fujifilm 16 to 55 has a pretty solid continuous autofocus without any weird sounds and it's pretty reliable and I'm also using it for these talking head scenes or when my subject is moving around. The autofocus from the Sigma 18 to 35 and the Fringer adapter is pretty okay in my opinion, but when autofocus is one of the most important features for you, I would recommend to buy the Fujifilm 16 to 55 lens. This aspect is pretty easy. The Fujifilm 16 to 55 has a wider variety of focal length and you can jump between wide establishing shots and close-ups at 55 mm without changing the aperture of 2.8. But I have to say for a long time I only owned the Sigma 18 to 35 already on my Panasonic GH5 before the Fujifilm camera and I have never missed any additional focal lens. When I needed more close-up shots I just moved a little closer to my subject and I got the desired shots. I know the IBIS is a really contrasty thing in the Fujifilm X-T4, but maybe for some of you guys it's very important to buy a lens which works pretty good with the IBIS. So I don't know why it's like that, but in my opinion and the shots I did so far, it seems that the Sigma 18 to 35 handles the IBIS system of the Fujifilm a little bit better than the Fujifilm 16 to 55. When you compare the same smooth B-roll shots with both lenses, it seems that you get more little jumps in the Fujifilm lens than you got when working with the Sigma 18 to 35. But when adding some stabilization in post-production, you get some really smooth B-roll shots from both of these lenses. 
Talking about low light situations, I have to say that every time I work with the Fujifilm lens in a darker situation, I always switch back to the Sigma because of the fastest aperture of 1.8. So if you need a lens which works pretty good in low light and gives you clean images even in darker situations, I would recommend to buy the Sigma 18 to 35. I already took some nice shots with both of these lenses, but since I own the Fujifilm 16 to 55, I use this lens for pretty much everything of my photography work. The wide optional focal length, the good working AF and the sharpness at f2.8 makes it a very good choice for photography work in every situation. All in all, both lenses are pretty good working horses, but at the end of the video, I want to give you some recommendations for which specific type of creative, which lens is the better choice. So if you are more into filmmaking and you really like to work with manual focus, I would recommend you to buy the Sigma 18-35 f1.8. It feels so good and easy to work with the manual focus and the aperture of 1.8 gives you sharp and beautiful locking video footage. But if you want to buy only one lens as your everyday workhorse in photography and video work and want to work with reliable autofocus, then go and buy the Fujifilm 16 to 55 f2.8 lens. You get great results in every shooting scenario and don't need additional lenses for your content creations. I hope that this little comparison video gives you a better idea of what lens to choose. And if you have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Bye and auf Wiedersehen.